there's no question that when we use drugs like interferon, like interleukin-2, and we saw a very relatively low response rate, many of those patients responded for very long periods of time. And, um, and I think what, what's believed to happen is this, is this memory that, that patients' immune response gains. And in fact, you know, I've noticed, I've, I've never seen a renal cancer patient who's relapsed after three or four years, but actually um, who's gotten uh, interleukin-2 and gone into a complete remission. Now, there's not enough of those, but it's almost they have less a chance of relapsing than someone who's been free of disease after their nephrectomy. So there is some change, and I think the best example is the vitiligo that people with uh, melanoma get. You know, when, when we see responses, we frequently see uh, uh, some attack on the melanocyte, and it frequently surrounds pigmented lesions or melanoma. And, and that remains and even gets more uh, consistent and more diffuse. And so I think it's just a sign of the memory that you're able to induce. Why?